Okay. Is that the same factory? Didn't look like a working factory though. That butt is not normal. Oh my god. I forgot how to walk. Um I gotta call a doctor. I can't just leave him like this. Oh my god. What happened to him? Ethan? God, this game controls like shit. I haven't played this in like a month. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead now. Come on, on the bed. You just might have caused a few deaths. It's okay. It's about blood. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Hmm. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. Burn marks on your chest? Yep. Your arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Yep. What, he has a fever as well? You've got a hell of a fever. Yeah, I mean, he's probably got an infection or something. your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. for you. Uh, yeah. Medicine cabinet. He needs first aid. There should be all I need in the medicine cabinet. Eh, a lot of pills. There wouldn't be there wouldn't be this many pills in a hotel, man. Jesus fucking Christ, are you serious? Doctor, but I'll do what I can. So, disinfectant first. One was enough. Crap! That's disinfectant. Oh. Not terribly good for burns. Ah, that's what you mean. Right, right, right. Oh, it doesn't burn? Your wounds are disinfected. Uh, we're not done. Can't put on a bandage yet. What the fuck are you Gotta talking treat about? The wounds first. Medicine. Uh, antibiotics. You're giving him a lot of pills, dude. Uh, 
Let's put on the ointment, I guess. Ointment! Wow, 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 wow. That this shit is, This isn't pain. weird at all. Oh, the burns are just gone. Convenient. I can only p put the bandages on after he's taken the medicine. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. We're not done here. Okay, get up. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. No, no, no. There's a lot of medicine he still needs to take. You serious? Why did you get... What? What the fuck? What the fuck kind of treatment is this? He's gonna die. He's gonna die of a fever. He's not even covered up. How do you feel? I could have done a better job, to be honest. I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. That's a long time. But you needed Why the rest. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. When I was You're a ungrateful. child... I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. Yeah. You're the only American here? No, the cop. The, the, when I say American, I mean American and, um. You said you were here because. English Canadian? You're an insomniac? I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. Okay. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. You, um, you got some kind of a problem? Is that a threat? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. Okay. You mixed up with the Mafia, owe someone money, something like that? You know, it's a bit more serious than that. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Jesus, it's like Christopher Lambert. Maybe I could help My you. Name no one can help Lambert. me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. Bye. What's next?
prepare to make a sacrifice to save your son. 9711 Marble Street. And change character. Right? Ooh, I unlocked a new bonus. Fun. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? The fuck? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. It's a loud camera. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. What is your accent? Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? No wires? Okay. Unlikely. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. Wow. That is an amazing accent, actually. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. Hmm. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. Okay, that's a problem. Real serious problem. There may be no connection. But the next day, there was that okay, announcement the song, the, the music is about way another too loud victim right now. of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Cool. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances which, which is kind may of bullshit, I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. It is a bullshit oath, though. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. Uh, of course. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving no. you some free advice, Doc. That wasn't a threat. I suggest you take it. The Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Oh, Jesus. Just said it in Stop Canada. Really Just fucking buttons. said it in Canada. I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really going to lose my Blake, temper. Stop that. Immediately. Let go of me. Just shoot Blake, man. You you have no right. <laughs> This guy Blake is a fucking menace. Blake, you need to stop. What the fuck are you doing? Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. No, you're not. You don't like it, leave. You're just taking pleasure in that. Dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Yup. That's a really beautiful picture, though. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. 
he is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. Why drowning, though? A few weeks ago, D do, after do we one know of our usual the, sessions, the first I found this. Drown? No, he didn't drown. Why he must have fallen out of his pocket. Why would he be obsessed with drowning stuff? Okay. That is very suspicious, to be honest. Come here, come here. Ah, come back here. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Nope. Almost. Yeah. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Calm down. Yes. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. No, no, no. You don't have enough, you know that, right? I'd actually like to do this. That guy's not stopping me. That's weird. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, he knows who I am. Oh, no, thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Sure. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. Grab a grab a club, motherfucker. Did you not hear him? The balls are in that basket. God. I'm micromanaging everything. I actually don't like when games make, make me do every single action. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Yeah. What's next? Yeah. It's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Okay. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Mm, all right. That thing. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Yeah. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. True. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, 
It's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I mean, you're not a detective, though. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shaw, and I pay very well for loyalty. Yes. Are you trying to buy me? You're not a cop! Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. Hmm. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shaw. If you do, you'll regret it. Oh, shit. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Well, he's angry. Done. This is the only moment where, where they don't look like shit. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. Nothing in there. Put it down, fucker. No! Put it down. Does it look out of place, you fucking idiot? It was also a lizard that, that you found. Uh, an origami li lizard, but. A lizard. Nope. Nothing there. Am I gonna have to shake all of them? Fuck me. Uh, there's gonna be something in one of them, right? Break it. Break it. Good. 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 That's very good. And I don't get the option. Okay, cool. Ooh, cool. Okay. Not actually controlling him. What is this place? What's the challenge this time? So this guy watched Seven, the guy who, who wrote this and directed it, definitely watched Seven, because this is basically all Seven. Or Seven-N. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Pinky. Pinky, Pinky, get a knife, Pinky. Pinky, 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 get a knife, Pinky. Yep. What the fuck are you doing? No, no, no. That's it. Yeah. Go. Move. 
do it. Uh, yeah, left hand. Pinky. Pinky. No, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, can I do it now? You have Fucking do it! Pinky! Left. Pinky! Pinky? Pinky. 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 Yeah, okay. At least he's smart. It's a finger. It's a finger. Come on. It's the last section of a finger, and it's the pinky. It's, let's not be too, too dramatic. You, you've lost. You've lost a son. You've had worse. Under the desk. What do you mean under the desk? Oh, right. What next? How is he not dead already? Because this isn't current. So the kid might have might have might 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 have been dead a long time ago. Blah, 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 Roosevelt. That's and that's enough to find it. Just Google it. Just Google it. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Sure. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in here? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. You don't have concrete proof, you fucking idiot. What the fuck is that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? How'd you find no, this place? Stand down. Okay. Get used to the camera. I'm controlling her, okay. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Okay. How did you find Shit. me? What's he up to in there? How did you find me? Wait for a go on my word. Stairs! No point in trying to get upstairs. Dead end on the roof. We'd be trapped. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's not that complicated, man. It's a wooden plank. Come on, man. Come on, it's a wooden plank. Damn! What the fuck are you talking about? Come on, Bruno Mars. Yeah. What? I was there. Shit! It's too high. You figured it out now. Why do people go to the gym if they Ready? can't do shit like go. this? Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door. Hold your positions. It's a go. Ethan. <sighs> I can't do it any faster. Ethan. Come on, let's go this way. Ethan. Go, Ethan. Go now, Ethan. Come on. Come on. It's really tense, actually. Nobody saw them get out the window. Hey, you, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on, quick! I can't. Hands in the air! Shit. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! The subway. Uh... Oh, these cars are way too close. These aren't, though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go, man. Oh, shit. Same bags. There's a there's a lot of people with the same hat. Oh come on, man! Didn't even try. Didn't even fucking try. Nope. Can't go in through here. Can't go in through there. Ah. Can't do that. What the fuck are you doing? It's a subway station. Did I just miss the subway? If I did, it wasn't my fault. What? Oh. I'm gonna do that? Come on, Ethan. 
that no, it wasn't that close. It really wasn't. We gotta get on that train, Ethan. Move, it's Ethan. Our only chance. Cool. <laughs> Finally. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Origami. Father of the kidnapped Fuck, pronounce Sean origami. Mars is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Uh. I brought some food. Some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Communicate. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. This again? You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I don't think he knows. Be honest, man. You don't know. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. What bodies in, 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 in the water? Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why okay. can't you tell that to the police? How did she find out where you and were? Tell me what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. Okay. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison, leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Okay. Maybe you should, Madison. Think about it. Think about it. Think, think about it. Controls in this game, come on. 
Okay. Nothing there. Where the fuck are you going? This game controls like shit. Take a shower, man. Yeah, let's go take a shower. Shower. Or just check out the next thing. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Don't. No. No. You need to stop now. This is where this is where you stop. No, this is where you stop. Ethan. Ethan. Stop, Ethan. 